It's the 2nd of January. I don't think the snow got the memo about happening on Christmas Day. That would have been nice. Oh well. It's starting to lay. The weirdest snow day ever. It hasn't actually stopped all day and yet that is all that we've got. All right, so I've already said it's the 2nd of January. The living room is an absolute wreck behind me. Watson's got toys everywhere. He's having a drama day because that's what he wanted to do. He's only got two days left before he goes back to school. I was hoping that that snow was going to lay, but it just keeps going from small flakes to massive flakes to small flakes. I'm looking at it now out the window and it's coming down faster but it's really fine it's probably going to turn into rain it keeps getting bigger flakes and coming down faster and faster and you think it's going to lay but at the same time if you stick your head out the window you can just hear drip 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 it melting off of vehicles so that's ruined today because i thought we might get a chance to play out in the snow it snowed here on boxing day and we got about that much but it wasn't good enough to play in and it pretty much turned to ice the other thing I've got to do now is I've got to get on here and I've got some paperwork to do for our other business which I can't show you what I'm doing with it because it's private. Um, it's boring business stuff but once I've got it out of the way I'll pretty much have some food and spend the rest of the day playing with Watson. But my next area of focus this week once he goes back to school besides getting the tree down is branding branding for the channel i want to make a banner for the top of the channel page to make it look more interesting and more professional when people click on i'm not really sure what i'm putting up there yet as it's kimberly's all sorts and you know i've shared things about holidays that we've been on i talk about our life and our work i don't know whether i want to put a collection of photos of me gary and watson doing various different things like holiday photos or photos that we've taken while we're working it could be that or whether to put pictures of the rides in among other things to make it look interesting the only thing is if i can't find any pictures of the rides that that i like or that are good enough or can be edited to be good enough i can't exactly go out and take them because the rides are closed they fold up there's nothing i can do about that so i'm not giving myself a tight deadline on that because I think it's more important that I get it right rather than rushing it and I plan on leaving it there a long time and I may carry it over to my Twitter account so anyway yeah paperwork and work on the banner but I don't think I'm gonna start that today I'm just gonna wait while he's gone back to school and keep on vlogging about what I'm doing hello it's now Monday the 4th of December Watson's gone back to school it was a little bit worrying there for a moment or two because there was a lot of speculation over whether the primary schools would open or not. You see, where he goes to school, there's two schools in very close proximity to one another and the people that have got children in the other school got informed on the weekend that it wouldn't be opening. It's not quite as bad as it sounds. What's happened is they were due to have a training day towards the end of next week and they've moved it to today because some of the teachers have got doubts about opening that school back up. But that school in particular, they've had a lot more bubbles sent home since September. Basically, since it opened, there's constantly been one bubble off after another or even two year group bubbles at once. But that school is twice the size of the one that Watson goes to. There's two classes for each year group. His is much smaller. There's only been three bubbles collapsed at Watson School since September. Years four and three and then quite close to the Christmas holidays. Nursery and reception collapsed together but that is because they are one bubble together where the classrooms are joined together and the children can actually move freely. So it wasn't that there was a case in each class, it was just one case. So grand total is there's been three cases in his school since September, which is not bad. We've all been sticking to the rules properly during drop off and pick up. So I don't know whether the other school hasn't enforced things properly or it could just be a case of it's been harder because of the bigger bubbles. I don't really know, but that school is shut today. And I think they might be using their training day more as of a discussion of whether to keep the school closed or not. I don't know, but so far so good for us. As you can see, the tree's still up because I am a firm believer in the 12 days of Christmas. My tree does not come down till the 12th night, which is the 5th of January. That is the 12th day of Christmas. 
should come down at night, but if I do that, I know I won't get it down, so I will actually do it during the day when Watson gets back. I've already mentioned the channel banner, I actually had a little change of plans on that yesterday when I intended to dedicate the whole day to playing with Watson. After a short while, he said, um, can I be quiet, I'm annoying him, I'm messing his game up, so I opened the laptop. I had a little play around, I did find some photographs that I liked, sort of, but when I put things together it didn't look cohesive, it just looked a bit of a mess. I played around with it, I did end up with a design that I kind of liked but I wasn't 100% so I just started playing with different fonts and graphics and I quite quickly had something that I liked so I've put it up and there it is. Today while he's been at school I've been to the supermarket I've done some washing and ironing, pretty bog standard stuff and some more work on the laptop. It's now half past two, he finishes soon, so I've got a couple more things to do and then I'll go and get him from school. Right, it's still Monday, I've picked Watson up from school and since then I've been on Facebook and I've spoken to someone that has got children in the school that didn't open today. It's definitely not opening. The teachers have exercised the right not to teach classes that big. They want to teach smaller classes, but it's unworkable. People just can't take time off work. But now they're being basically forced to, so they're just shutting the whole school. The person that I've spoke to has had to buy laptops for her kids. This was meant to be a one-week vlog uploaded on Saturday. I'll do something else on Saturday now. I just can't help but come on here and post this video because for much of today while I've been getting my stuff done, I've been a bit disconnected with the world, I haven't had the television on apart from this morning before school and now Boris is making another announcement at 8. What could that possibly be? Could we be going into another lockdown? Do you think it's necessary? Do you think it's a waste of time because this is the third one and it still hasn't worked? Do you think we should have locked down earlier the first time around because I do? If it was me... Personally, when we first found out about this virus, if I was in charge, and I know people go on like a Karen on Facebook, who always knows better than anybody else, but, and then somebody will go, well, do you think you could do any better? Well, personally, I think I could. If I was in that position of power, where the responsibility of the safety of the entire country rested on my shoulders... I would have closed the borders. I would have shut the country straight down as soon as we heard about it. That might seem hasty. At first, when the first case turned up, that businessman in Brighton that had flown in from wherever wherever he'd been, he'd flown in and he'd been to a pub before he went home and he'd been in contact with like five to seven people. I was like, well, surely we should just shut down now to stop it spreading any further because those people could have been walking around spreading it, as well as the man, without knowing that they've got it, not their fault that they're spreading it, they didn't know, but we found out, I think, on the news, roughly around the 25th of January, the reason why I mentioned this date is, I had more than one different set of friends who were on holiday at that time, and they were away when the news hit, and I was messaging back and forth with them, I could go back through my chat history on my messages and check it, but I feel like it was roughly around that date so it's been nearly a year since we found out and I can kind of understand politicians and other health professionals being a bit hesitant to go for a lockdown because we've had these threats before and nothing much has really come of it like I, c I can remember SARS being on the news I was a teenager at the time but personally if I was in charge and that responsibility was on my shoulders I would have had the lockdown much earlier. I would have closed the borders straight away. I would have given people a chance to stock up with supplies, although I would have also encouraged them not to panic. But that whole let's go for herd immunity thing is not a good idea in the beginning when you don't know that much about anything. My first thing would have been to close the borders, even to Brits. Now, I know that seems harsh, but hear me out. Shut the borders, stop all flights temporarily then set up a system online where people could say that they're a Brit, they're out of the country, they want to come home, they need to come home. The government should have worked with a British airline to repatriate everyone into either Manchester, Heathrow or Gatwick and use the airport hotels to quarantine. I'm not saying bring everybody back at once, Whatever, however many people could have been accommodated in the hotels that's how many they bring back, quarantine them for two weeks, send them off on the way back to their own homes, into lockdown still, have a lockdown at the same time, 
then fetch another lot of people back. Surely, if you were going to have a lockdown, you should have just got on with it, not let things get out of control before having it, and then it doesn't work, and then you start to ease ease off. Then blame it on pubs that have adhered to all the restrictions. We've got a local pub where I live, and they have done everything right. And like me, their business is closed yet again. They've just been shut at one of the busiest times of the year, and they've done everything right. They've done track and trace. They've enforced it. They enforced the masks to get you to your table. You couldn't take it off until you sat down. They've had a one-way system. You could only enter through the front of the pub. You had to exit through the back door of the pub. So if you wanted to go outside, if you smoke and you wanted to go out to the smoking shelter, once you'd done, you had to walk right the way back around and go back in the front. They also had a one-way system for the toilets. So say you're in this side of the pub, you've got to go that way, past the bar, to the toilets, and then you had to come this way, back around. They did everything right, and yet the short and hospitality's getting a lot of the blame for it when they had tougher restrictions and other things, and I just don't think it's fair. I think the government's made a complete and utter... Well, for want, of a, for want of a better word, of the entire situation, and now, again, everyone's got to suffer with what looks like another lockdown coming. And unless the lockdown is strict and there's a good system in place for how people can move about, I don't think it's going to work. I think we're just wasting our time. I, re I really don't think it's going to work. And on the note of that school that's closed and my son's hasn't, yeah, I, 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 just, I just don't see how it can work. We didn't lock down soon enough the first time or strict enough we should have maybe had a system where you've got a slot to go shopping where they really could manage the numbers i don't i, I don't know or maybe maybe supermarkets should have been employing extra people to pick online orders and set more delivery drivers on because that would have helped all the people whose incomes had completely stopped who couldn't work from home i just feel like it could have been more organized i also feel like self-employed people um who often have to think on the feet and manage their own funds well to keep the business afloat have probably got a better of a better idea how to run things in situations like this not somebody that's been brought up in a privileged little bubble gone to university and then walked into one of these jobs with no experience i just feel like sometimes the university of life is a better way to learn and i think i've pretty much done speaking on that matter so i'm gonna get off and I'm going to knock this video quickly together and I'm going to upload it as fast as I can before Boris's announcement. And then we can look back on this and see what happens. Um, thanks for coming back and bye.